Hi friends, we're back with another band workout. Uh, great home workout, all you need is a couple resistance loops. I love this brand, the X-Bands, and um, I'll link them in the notes on YouTube, but I prefer to use a lighter weight for upper body stuff and a heavier weight for lower body stuff. So here I have a 60 and a 30, but um, they make a lot of different levels, so just choose whatever level you need. So this will be a full body workout. It's gonna be really fun. So round up your bands, get some water, play some fun music, and let's go. Let's start our workout with a banded version of bird dogs. I'm gonna grab my 60 pound band. Take your loop and step inside it without falling on your face. Nailed it. All right, bring it up a few inches above your knees and then come on down to all fours pose where we'll put hands under shoulders, knees under hips, strong shoulders, not sagging into them, but strong. Let's lift the left leg straight back, flex at the ankle, reaching back through the heel. You can lift the opposite arm if you want to, that's optional, and then bring it down. Now lift your right leg back. Again, flex at the ankle, press through the heel, lift your opposite arm. So that's one. We can go for rep number two. We just lift and lower, alternating sides, aware of the weight-bearing shoulder, that it stays really active, and aware of the hips, that they stay level. One more tip on this is in this version of bird dog, banded version, it can be a little tempting to lift the leg up higher than we need to, but we're really just going straight back. We wanna keep the hips level. We wanna keep the low back neutral. So you're gonna feel work in the glutes, the legs, the core, arms, shoulders, back muscles. This is great for everything. While we're down here, let's go straight to our next thing, fire hydrants. So stay in that all fours pose. Shoulders are still active. Now keep that knee at 90 degrees and flex your ankle. Let's lift the leg straight out to the side and then bring it right back down and then lift and lower. Lift and lower. And we feel that work in the outer thigh and glute area. We'll do our reps on one side and then switch and do your reps on the other side. But it's important to note we're not extending the leg and we're not lessening the angle either. We're trying to keep that knee at 90 degrees. So coming up to stand for a little bit, I'm gonna use my lighter weight band for this. Uh, put your arms inside, stop at the wrist area, make fists, and then come down to the starting place. Engage your core, stand strong, shoulders back. Now see if you can sort of pull the band apart. And then we lift up to shoulder height, and then we ease down. And we lift, and we lower. So this banded front raise, we're working shoulders. So. The more you try and pull the band apart, the more intense this will be. And just move with control, up to shoulder height only, and then right back down. Next, we're gonna come down to the mat, grab your band, whichever one you're using, loop it at your ankle, and then ease down to lie down. Shoulder blades tucked underneath you, palms down, core, go ahead and engage it. Let's lift the legs up and sort of think of uh, pulling the band apart. So we feel that action already at the glutes, the abductor area. And then let's lower the legs. Find a place of challenge where you're able to maintain neutral spine at your low back. So we don't want the low back aching or coming off the mat. We can just hold here for 30 to 45 seconds. Um, another option you can do if you don't wanna hold it is you can just lift and lower for some reps. So maybe 10 or 12 reps, something like that. But either way, we're aware of that low back. We don't want any strain or pain at the low back. Core, 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 work it. So while we're down here, let's just roll over. <laughs> Find yourself in a plank pose. So bring your shoulders over your wrist, stabilize your shoulders, lift the knees, press through your heels. Now, let's place the feet so that we're feeling tension at the band. And we wanna keep that the whole time. Core is tight, glutes are working. Now, if you wanna to add to this, we can lift a leg 
bring it down. Lift the other, bring it down. And you're lifting as high as you can while maintaining your plank posture safely. So don't get lazy at your shoulders. Keep those shoulders engaged. Keep your core engaged. So one on each side would be one rep. While we're down here, let's lose the big band and pick up your smaller band. We're gonna lie on our bellies, but I wanna show you the grip first. So we wanna put the, the band at the thumbs and essentially we're just gonna be pulling the band apart. So creating tension that way. Adding this to a Superman pose. So ease down to your belly. This version of Superman is fantastic. It's gonna get your whole body. Lie down, extending your arms out in front of you. Feet are hip width apart. Pull your core in and then inhale, lift off. So we lift off, lifting legs and arms, and then we try and pull the band apart. If we wanna stay with this, we can, or we can add in some scapular retraction, great for your back, by pulling the band apart and then easing it toward the crown of your head. We're doing this trying to work the shoulder blade, upper back area. 